just Tanya. I'm in from the grocery store. I do all my food prep on Sunday, but when I come back in from going to the grocery store, I usually like to be time efficient and get the meats cooked ahead of time, fruits and vegetables cleaned, and so forth. So I am going to get my boiled eggs prepped, my chicken, my ground turkey, um, and my fruits and vegetables washed. So here we go. So just in from the grocery store, first thing I always do is preheat the oven. By the time you're ready to put your meat into the oven, it'll be all set to go. First thing I'm gonna start with is the eggs. Eggs boil for eight minutes, but that's eight minutes from boiling. So the first thing that I always do is I put some hot water in the pan so that the cold eggs can get more to a room temperature. Okay, and then I'm just going to put that pan over to the side. In a separate pan, you're going to want to fill it up. Put it on the stove so that you can get that water boiling for when you're ready to boil the eggs. Right there. Okay, so while that water is boiling, I'm going to fill the sink up. Quickest and easiest way to clean your fruit and your vegetables, take vinegar. I have a double sized sink, so I use a cup. You're probably going to be fine with about a half a cup. Another little trick is when you go to the grocery store, you want to package everything up according to how it's going to go away. I put all my meat in one bag frozen fruits and vegetables in another, cans in another. That way when it comes to putting it away or prepping your food like this, you're already ahead of the game. One little trick that I do like is I like to use the oven bags, the turkey ones, because they fit a lot of meat in them. Because I prep my food for the kids' dinners, for our family dinners during the week, I use the large bags. The reason that I like to use the bags is that, I mean, the meat comes out tender and everything, but if you don't have to clean a pan, why bother, right? So, my pan, my bag. You wanna make sure your trash barrel is open and ready so that once you've handled the chicken with all its nastiness, you can just throw the chicken container out. So, open up the chicken. Seriously, just sticking it right in. I don't do any seasoning or anything because basically, I'm gonna cook all these chicken breasts and then when we get into the food prep, I'll make stir fried chicken. You can make chicken soup. You know, if you have a favorite chicken dish, chicken alfredo. I mean, this just isn't for, you know, the way that you're gonna to eat to fuel your body, family meals as well, but meat prep, it's very time consuming. So that thing's almost full. All right, twist it up, pop it right in the pan. I mean, this chicken comes out so moist. Okay, my ground beef. I cook it in the microwave. Once it's done cooking, I put it into a colander, you know, to drain all the, the fat out of it. This is a much quicker way, and I'm not a big fan of cooking in the microwave at all. When it comes to this, I'm gonna do it that way. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not in the camera. No, Jackson, it's okay. Huh. Mommy's just being mommy, and you are in the kitchen when I'm in the kitchen, right? Okay. I got some. Okay. So this is a lot of turkey burger. I mean, if you were only going to do say a pound, four minutes would do it. So I'm pop it into the microwave with a cover. Again, what the cover is going to do is it's going to not make you have to clean so much. Anything that you can get away with that's going to save you time, you should. 
Cleaning, very time consuming. Think slow. And again, because I packaged up or um, packed up from the grocery store, Jackson, honey, did you really just move that? How about I rephrase that, young man? Look at mommy in the eyes. Don't touch the camera again, okay? If it's Jack, okay? Okay. Okay. So, moving on. Because I put the fruits and the vegetables all in one bag, nice and easy. Don't even have to take the stickers off of anything. They'll come off in the vinegar and water. So, and this way too, you know, you, the kids, whoever else it is that lives with you, can grab the fruit right out of the drawer, not have to wash it. When it comes time to cut up your peppers, prepare your vegetables, all you have to do is pull them right out of the fridge and they're ready to go. Alright? So I tend to use a lot of um, frozen vegetables just to save time, but if you like your vegetables fresh, you can throw everything in there. Strawberries, peppers, um, green beans, spinach, anything that you need to clean, right into the sink all together. So at this point, the water is boiling. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> Thanks, Jackson. So you want to empty the water out of the eggs that are now at room temperature. And all you're going to do is you're going to take that water that's already boiling, pour it right over the eggs. So I'm going to set the timer for 8 minutes. Um. Oven is at 372, I set it for 375, so we're good to go. Okay, that's basically it for the food prep. So the, um, the chicken's in, we've got the timer set for an hour. My fruit is being cleaned in the vinegar and water. By the time I'm done putting half the groceries away, I will pull that fruit out, Jackson. I will rinse it off, put it away into the refrigerator. When the ground turkey or ground beef, whatever it is that you decided you were going to cook, is done, I will put it into the colander. And I'll have a, I'll add on to the video. I think I'm not sure. This is one of my first videos, and show you how I do prepare the ground beef when it's done. So I'm going to go put my groceries away and continue to clean. All right, so the chicken's out of the oven. The ground turkey or ground beef, whichever it is you did, is out of the microwave. Fruits are all rinsed. Eggs are rinsed and put in a bowl. The first thing you are going to want to do is make sure that you have an extra container in your sink that will hold the juices. So the chicken, you're just going to pop a hole in the bag. Drain out all the juices. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and then put the chicken in like the container. That was fabulous. Wicked hot. This is a good thing that I cleaned the sink, huh? Okay. Jazzy, can you see the the chicken like yeah. yes. Okay. Okay, so you should let it cool, of course, and then cover it up, pop it in the fridge. Next, your ground beef or your ground turkey. If you have a colander, you're going to take that and just dump it right in. And then just as you would ground it up in a frying pan, can you see that, Jesse? Mm -hmm. Mm, you don't have to as long as they can save. Yep. So, get it all nice and fine or chunky, however you like it. And then you want to run some hot water over it just to get that little bit of fat that may be left out. Okay. Grab your container. With the luck I'm having tonight, I think I'll put my container right in the sink. You're gonna put that meat in there. Again, you wanna wait for this to cool, and then once it does, put a cover on it, and then the fridge it goes.